Hi, this video we're going to talk about some examples for boundary work. A uh, quick recap what we did last time. If it's boundary work, uh, WB, that's going to be equal to zero if it is constant volume, right? And the boundary work is going to be equal to P, V2 minus V1 if it is a constant pressure. And the boundary work would be equal to MRT, natural log V2 over V1, or P1 V1, natural log V2 over V1, or replace that with P2 V2, natural log V2 V1, if this is ideal gas, and also have to be isothermal. All right, so now let's looking at so, um, so let's look at some um, application of this. Uh, this is taken from your textbook. Uh, this FE example, there's a full 114.5. 3 meter cube rigid tank has nitrogen gas given initial pressure, 500 kilopascal and the temperature 300K. And there's a heat added to the nitrogen and the pressure has rise up to 800 kilopascal. What's the work done during this process? What do you think about this one? Uh, this is a rigid tank. And uh, if it's, I mean, there are a lot of noises here. They talk about pressure, talk about temperature. But remember, if it's a rigid tank, what can be the work done during this process? No, right? There's no boundary work, so there's no, no, no work. So the the answer for this one would be just zero kilojoule. All right. So remember, for your FE exam, you have just a few minutes to solve one problem. Here you go. One second, you solve this one. Um, because why? Because this is a constant volume. Now let's look at uh, the second example. Uh, they give us the volume also, it says nitrogen gas. We know nitrogen is going to be ideal gas. They give us initial pressure is 600 uh, kilopascal and initial temperature is 300 Kelvin. Now it's compressed isothermal. Now they said the gas is compressed isothermal, which means temperature is going to be constant um, to a volume. V2 as 0.2 meter cube. Um, so originally the pressure of volume is 0.5 meter cube. And you might wonder, they said it's rigid tank and the same as volume to be changed. Yes, I wonder the same thing. Um, I think maybe it's a choice of the words, but whenever you see the volume actually changed, then we know it's, it's no longer constant volume. So you have to use that judgment, right? They ask us to find the, the work down, the boundary work down, the work down during this compression process. Then how do we how do we solve this? Right? Uh, if it's boundary work and which is scenario, that's gonna be scenario number three, ideal gas, because it's uh, nitrogen and also it's isothermal process then the boundary work is going to be equal to either one of those three equations. Now let's think about which one is better. They didn't give us mass, so I will eliminate that. And they do give us initial pressure and an initial volume. Well, I think that might be a good choice. So let's go with P1 V1, natural log V2 over V1. So we do know initial pressure is 600 kilopascal and the volume, initial volume is 0.5 meter cube and natural log V2, uh, 0.2 meter cube and 0.5 for that. So again, for this equation, you didn't even use the temperature. That's again a noise maker. And uh, kilopascal times meter cube gonna give us in kilojoule unit, and uh, so we'll have um, three hundred natural log of two over five, right? And let's see what we have. So putting the calculator, 
Oh, I got a negative 270, 4.89 kilojoule. And uh, so first of all, round it up, that's going to be negative 275 kilojoule. And how do we deal with negative? Obviously, the answer would be D, but they don't have negative value. Now let's think about our sign convention, right? Um, remember when we talk about first law equation, we talk about sign convention for boundary work. If the work is done by the system, work done by the system, that's going to be positive. If it's work down to the system, that's going to be negative. And since this is what compression, that's work down to the system. It's compressed the system, down to the system. That be negative value. So we know it's going to be negative value. Uh, here they're just looking at the absolute value to that. That's going to be uh, the end of this video, boundary work example. Uh, hopefully we uh, can feel confident using, um, using boundary work equation and make our judgment, uh, see which one to use. Uh, I really like problem one, zero kilojoule, right? Because it's a rigid tank, they give us so many noises, but boundary work is zero. Since it's a rigid tank, volume stays constant. All right, that's all for this one. See you next time. Bye.